Ci a... <laughs> On that note, <laughs> pants are really riding my junk, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some suspenders, dude. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> On this episode, we are tapping into the masculine energy and picking our favorite colognes slash unisex fragrances yeah um i couldn't wait for this episode because i feel like there's a lot of men out there that actually want our opinion from a feminine Agreed. perspective of what we find to be the best the sexiest um basically they're looking for a panty dropper yep that's all they want exactly you know yep so. want to make our nipples hard <laughs> Hard. <laughs> what fragrance gets her wet? <laughs> exactly. I, yeah. I mean, look, I, I will say that something about a man smelling good, the guy can be a total nerd. He can walk in and like not be physically attractive. But man, if he smells good. It makes a huge difference. I'll do like a double take. Like, oh, that's It makes it? a Huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> Not that size matters, but you know. No, girth matters. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was about the motion in the ocean. Oh, I was just going length versus width. Okay. You prefer width over length. You know, I prefer a perfect dick, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I want like a good... Combination. I need a good little bit of both. Let's have a balance, yeah. right? Nobody wants like a long You don't want skinny dick. and long. Oh, God, Absolutely no. not. Like the last thing I need is for something to be hitting my fallopian tubes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want it to, yeah, rub me the right way. Yeah. All right. Well, you've got four. I got three. Okay. Let so me. So you should go Primero. Primero. <laughs> Numero uno. <laughs> Primero uno. Primero uno. <laughs> okay. We're Italian men now. I actually smell this. Sometimes my nose, I think, craves scents that they want, that they, they, the 20 people in my fucking head, <laughs> want me to smell that they want me to smell. I think this. you might be a little crazy, Lena. They want me to smell <laughs> this. Like, what? <laughs> um, but actually, factually, yes. Um, uh. Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. I, I want to smell that. Where's our? Why won't this. we don't have any perfume strips? Oh anywhere. my goodness! Oh, you got today. Um, it's all right, bros are allowed to have their chest out. My little, my little <laughs> B cups are having a moment. <laughs> um, okay, really, really, really love this. I actually smelled this on a guy first, and I, I had to ask him. I literally ordered it right away on my phone. Really, at yep. that moment? Yeah. It's got that, like... You know what? I'm going to do it on my car. Yeah. <laughs> that warm spice, like, mixed with... You know how, like, Delina Exclusive has a little bit of that tart smell to it? It's, it's bitter, right? Bitter peach. It's really So it has bitter. that it has bitter, bitter peach, opening. but the way that it mixes with, like, the warm spices, mm. and it's, like... I really love it. It Can lasts on your clothes you, forever. Is it is it labeled? Is it marketed towards more unisex Jeez. or is it marketed towards men? Let me see. I'm pretty sure it's unisex for women and men. Okay. Yeah. Um, Both? Oh, there's a shitload of notes. Peach, <laughs> blood orange, cardamom, heliotrope, rum, cognac, divana, jasmine. Indonesian patchouli leaf, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, benzoin, cashmere, styrax, labdanum, vetiver. That's wow. a lot. That's a lot. Anyway. It's, it's really nice though. It's really, really nice. It's really smooth. Mm. It's just like. It is smooth. And I, I really get compliments when I wear it. This I could just, be a drink. Yeah, it could. I feel like it could. like A milky, like, there's like a cinnamony type of. Mm. Yeah. I love it. I want to wear it all the time, but I just, <clears throat> I have so many. I, I feel like I want to take everybody out to play. 
I know, isn't it hard? Yeah. Picking, like which child you love the most? Yeah. Really just, sometimes my nose will tell me though, like I said, what they want me to wear. <laughs> It'll just like the no the smell will literally come to me out of nowhere. I'm like, okay, I heard you. Got it. Do you respond to yourself? I do. Yeah, I do. They say that if you talk back to yourself, that's when you know that there's a problem. And I'm like, well, I guess I have a problem. Oh, I, I heard that people have, talk to themselves are highly intelligent. I talk to myself when I'm like, at, even when I, we, we were at Home Goods, I'm like talking to myself through the Same. aisles. I'm like, I don't need any more towels. Roberta, yep. get out I this talk, aisle. I talk to my, so, talk to my loud <laughs> outside. <laughs> Remember yesterday at Home Goods, <laughs> that lady was standing there and she's like literally, you know, they make those aisles when you're checking out. They put a shitload of crap that you don't need, yeah. but they want you to like pick it on your way <laughs> to the register. Oh, yeah. I'm like, excuse me. You're like, lady. Are you shopping or can we go around you? She's like, yeah, no. She's yeah. like, yeah, and go then, around. And then, she's like, go around. And, and then, then she, she decides anyway. to like go. And she had a whole bunch of crap in her cart. I was like, oh, Home Goods knows exactly who they're. Victims are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to. This is. Oh, shit. It's my, it's my big away. broad shoulders just <laughs> knocking shit out the way. So um, Creed Aventus. It is. I wanted to try it because it is such a. Cult talked favorite. about. Yeah. It's a cult favorite. Um polarizing reviews people either love it or they hate it they either label it as the goat of like all men's fragrances or they're like this is a waste of money and then there was a lot of arguments about batches and how certain batches were better than others and people were actually like oh I have the batch 2018 and this is and I'm like damn I'm we're in the year 2023 which batch am I gonna get like a, yeah I don't know so anyway <clears throat> I sprayed it on my boyfriend yesterday and I like just sprayed the shit out of him. I was like, Shh. and he liked it and it actually settled really nicely. But I will say I was kind of shocked because um, the way it was described, it's a chipre, chipre. Yeah. Fragrance. Chipre. 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 So I don't fucking know. <clears throat> basically it's citrus and then the middle notes are supposed to be like floral or, um, or fruity with more citrus perhaps, but then the what makes it a cheaper is the citrus combined with the wood or like the earthy elements. So if it has oak moss or patchouli or whatever. So this one is supposed to have so many different fruits and people talk about the pineapple and let me see what else is supposed to have. Bergamot, black currant, apple, um, and then it has Moroccan jasmine, rose, birch, patchouli, and then <laughs> for a minute, it sounded like you were saying bird shit. <laughs> Honestly, I'm getting a little delirious. Um, it's been a long day. I think it was all the okay. coffees yeah. we had: <laughs> musk, About oak moss, coffees, <laughs> ambergris, ambergris, and vanilla. Now, I don't smell any fruits. I just mm. smell man, like yeah. a man. Yeah, like I think. <laughs> I think a person that would wear you know who I see wearing this I feel like Jay-Z would have to wear something like this because of like the type of caliber of woman that he's with it's like he's with Beyonce like who can top her right she's like the queen of everything and this just smells like bravado and like you know he walks in and he's like the king I mean yeah. it's very masculine I don't smell any fruit at all you want to spray it on this? Oh, I do like it, though. <clears throat> I think it's very complex. Yeah, I like it. If you smelt that on a, on I a can guy, tell. Yeah. Like, for me, it, it. I just feel like it would just say he's really confident. He likes, you know, he probably drives, like, really nice upscale car like maybe like a high-end Mercedes or something you know yeah it's nice it's really nice I'm sure so it smells I, better on skin yeah I I mean personally I just think it's a really nice fragrance for any man that's like if you don't know what to get just get this and you're safe yeah you know what I mean agreed. and I don't feel like you'll smell like 
everybody else because I haven't really smelled this on any guys. I think most guys are wearing designer. They're wearing Sauvage or they're wearing, you know, Chanel Blue or um, Tom Ford. Tom Ford. But I think, you know, if you want to f- spend some extra dough and you really want to smell like money, this is it. <laughs> this yeah. is an easy way to go. Yeah. You know? That's my first, uh... Ooh, sorry. Shit, sorry. Playing footsies with me, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, baby. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> Especially if you're wearing that. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I actually... BDK. I love BDK, BDK, which we love. BDK Parfums. This is Gris Charnel Extrait. Mm. I have the regular one. The regular Grisha now. Oh, can I get my card back? Because my notes are on there. <laughs> Thank you. I um, I bought this back in 2020. No, the, the Grisha now, the original. Um, you know when we were like originally in lockdown for quarantine, and I think that's when my real obsession for niche fragrances grew because I found Lucky Scent in 2020. And started ordering like a shit ton of samples and like mixing my own. It gets better. This one's really strong. It reminds me of like a. Oh, it's so. Is there cardamom in here? Yes. I love. And fig and black tea. Mm, This smells so good. Um, so. Yeah, I fa- I bought that creme de cure. Remember that yes. leather cream that you love? That's loved? the one I love. And the regular Gris Charnel. And then this year I saw that they put out, or was it the end of last year? I don't know. The X Straight. And I was like, got to try it because I love Gris Charnel. Um, it's just really sexy and warm. And literally smelling this, I was like, okay, so the X Straight is a little more woody and it's a little stronger. But honestly, the dry down, I, I ran errands the other day and I wanted to wear it outside and see how it just kind of wore throughout the day. And it's just so beautiful. But to me, when I was writing like my little notes about it, I was like, to be honest, this is like how I imagine my soulmate to smell. It's like you imagine your partner to be this like grounded masculine strength and like real love and safety. Mm, I was just about to say safe. Yeah. Because it smells like. And you just imagine like if you're going. knows what he wants. Yeah. And. He wants you. And that when you're like going through a difficult time, you can lean on them and they're just, their hug would feel like this. You know, it's just that grounded, comforting strength. It's like only real men can wear this. That's such a, that's such a beautiful way to describe that type of a scent because if you're smelling your partner, that's how you want to feel. Yeah. And if you take in a whiff of him and he's like holding you. Yeah. All of those thoughts just make it, make that hug even more just better. Yeah. So there's this funny story, um, my, how my grandparents met. They, my grandma was 16, my grandpa was 17, and at the time th- he was in Sweden and she was in Finland. And he was, she was looking for a pen pal and my grandpa was too, but he was only going to talk to 17-year-olds. They just retold me this story oh. the last time I went to, can- to, to Canada. And... Um, my grandpa was looking through the paper and my grandma had written this ad, lied. She said she was a year older and he's like, that was just fate that you did because if you said you were 16, I wouldn't have talked to you. Wow. And he was in the bar and he was reading it and she said, literally just straightforward, and this is so my grandma and she helped me raise me, which is why it's like, I'm so her. But she's just like, looking for a pen pal, only real men write me. Damn. <laughs> and he literally he said he was smoking a cigarette and put his cigarette out on her ad, and he's like, that's the one. They literally got married, moved to Canada, had my dad. Actually, they had my dad in Finland, then moved here. Or to Canada. Keep missing it. <laughs> so when I was writing this, and I was like, only real men can can wear this, I was like, Thinking oh, that's so my grandma. That is so yeah. cute. My grandma and grandpa. Because they are soulmates. Aquarius and, and Gemini. He's like, your grandma's the, I think your grandma's the weirdest person I've ever met, and I love it. <laughs> So she's from Finland, which means she's probably like a really happy-go-lucky person. They are like the happiest people. No, she's a pretty tough bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but she's like a, the most loving, generous person on earth. Okay. But yeah. So that's Grisha now. That this is, is a. I love that smell. This is like also a man with just extremely good taste. Really good taste. And like really knows mm. 
what he likes and what he wants to smell like and isn't just going for what's popular or whatever. It's just like, this is so unique and beautiful. I absolutely yeah. love it. I lo yeah, that's really nice. Mm. I need this card. All right, so, um, oh, man. I can't wait to smell this. This is called Amorous, and it's by Maison Francis Kirchigan. Kirk Dijon. Kirk Dijon. I hope I'm saying it right, too. Otherwise, I'm just... Kirk Dijon. I mean, look. Whatever. We're buying and promoting their stuff. I think they'll be fine. <laughs> it is so crazy good when I came up to the woman at the counter for this brand. I was like, I need a really good... Because originally, I, I went for the A La Rose Ohm. And it was just, it was too feminine for me. I didn't I don't want to smell roses like right. real roses on my man. Um, she was like, "Baby, I have the perfect one for you <laughs> because I'm bougie. This is a good one. This is very bougie." And I was like, "All right, girl." She, man, when she sprayed that, I was like, "What is that?" I didn't even know of amorous. Mm. So, you know, my dude was with me, and I sprayed him. <laughs> Poor thing. He just he just lets me do whatever. He's like, whatever. And he didn't even mind, but he smelled so good and he loved it. He was like, you know, he's like blown away because this is like all new to him. Yeah. He's like, man, that's good. And I was like, oh my God. It's so many levels to this. It takes you through a different journey with every minute that it dries down. It's like a different journey. It takes you. But it is so complex and you just gotta smell it. Yeah, I really do. I also like this topper that's like this. Oops. So the um it's a vanilla woody aromatic. The amorous is from Jamaica, the iris is from Florence. So that's, you know, it's really um expensive to source. So it justifies the price. I what think. is the price? Four twenty five? Three forty for two point four ounce. So that was three forty. Aromatic? Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm Creamy vanilla. But it has. Oh, it's nice. It's it's very masculine though, even though it has the creamy vanilla. Yeah, this is really nice. It dries down to a powdery skin scent, which I we love would love on a man totally for for real because I just want to hug you. I want to hug your neck. Yeah, I want to smell you. Usually, like the back of ears don't smell yeah, the best, but nice. if you spray that behind your <laughs> the back of your ear, <laughs> maybe it'll. You know, this is very cover nice. up that weird back of the ear smell. Also, a nice treat for you when you can find your man a good scent that I you like know, to smell. I know, I know, it's so good. I just think it's so smooth. It's yeah, like it is really well blended. Um, it's the extrait. So here's the thing: this is the extrait, and there is a eau de toilette, and they do not smell the same. Or an eau de parf parfum. Out of toilet. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know they made them. She was like, don't even bother. She was like, totally different. And I was like, why would I want to do that? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. I never smelled anything so good on a man. Yeah, it's really nice. I really like it. Um, so the notes are amorous, tonka bean, Tuscan iris, Sicilian mandarin, vanilla, um, cinnamon, and saffron. Nice. I think this is like you... Love luxury. Yeah. And you are a confident man that knows what he wants. And you also like fly bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. This is just going to be a quick one for me because it's very nice. Nothing super special, but it's Straight to Heaven by Killian. Mm. Um. Of course, it's what I go to, patchouli, warm, spicy, woody, like, but I really like this one. It's very woody. I actually bought it to, I actually bought the um, body cream first. Mm, this is nice. Because I bought the Angel Share. Have you smelled that? Angel Share by Killian? I do. I like Angel Share too. But sometimes it's a little, it's like... Christmas. It's, it's literally like drinking a hot toddy mm -hmm. I don't, in a warm fire, like around Christmas. In, inside the warm fire, just right inside of it. <laughs> it's not warm anymore. <laughs> On, uh, it's like a Christmas scent, you know? It's very like apple pie, hot toddy sitting by the fireplace. And it's a little 
really sweet sometimes. And I, sometimes, you know, I, I like to add a little bit, as I've said over and over, like patchouli, a little bit of like moodiness to things. Mm -hmm. I just like a little bit of depth. And this woody patchouli just really does it. This to me, because it's not like a huge scream in your face sillage, sillage. It's, uh, it, you do smell it, but it is closer to the body. So I feel like when I pictured someone, a man wearing this, it's like, just a high-powered businessman that's confident because he doesn't necessarily need everyone to smell him and get all this attention. He kind of just, like, knows who he is, knows what he likes, doesn't want to be in people's faces pissing them off with, like, look how good I fucking smell. It's like, yeah. he knows he smells good. You get close to him, you get a nice whiff of it, and you, like, respect it. If you're it, lucky you enough know? to get close yeah. to him. Yeah, it's nice. It's really yeah. nice, and I love Selective. it. Selective. He doesn't let any bitch get near him. Exactly, I which like we that. like. Yeah. So, I mean, it's I love wearing it. I I... I really layer it with quite a few things, actually. Because even if I don't wear this, I'll wear the body lotion. I love Killian fragrances. Me I too. They're super unique. Yeah. Pretty little bottles. Beautiful bottle. And the packaging, usually yeah. the cases that it comes in, yeah. are you can't throw those out. Very pretty. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. All right. I brought a designer one that I thought was like a safe purchase for a man who doesn't know what to get, but wants to be, you know, play it safe, maybe get something that he can wear to work. We're with his girlfriend, we're out with the boys, and not worry about being offensive or doing the most. Even if you spray this multiple times, I find that it is a very soft yet pleasant fragrance. I think the packaging is really cute. I mean, this it is. it's different. And, you know, I go on Fragrantica and everybody is, like, hating on it. They're like, oh, it's it's too, you know, gimmicky. And I'm like, who fucking cares? It's, it's different. Like... God forbid they do something different. It's like, but if they did like a bottle that was like similar to everybody else's bottle, they'd be like, oh, nothing different here. And it's yeah. like, oh my God, they nobody can win. Plus I think it's cute, especially it's cute. for like young men. Like my nephew is 12 and he just got, <laughs> he's a Leo. And yeah. I'm like, kid, you are just so lucky that you were born with me as your auntie because he loves nice clothes and shoes loves cologne and like we can bond over that yeah. and I can help feed his little obsessions because <laughs> I relate. And You're he like, loves the cologne dunks. already. He even asked his mom to like set up a little shelf so he can start his Aww. little collection. And this to me is like, you know, it's something that like a young man that's about to go through puberty and wants yeah. and cares about how he smells. How and, he smells. And is still insecure in his body because he's becoming a man and doesn't want to like necessarily try anything too risky, too sweet, too whatever. Exactly. Even though he loves like everything. He's yeah. Very so, you eccentric. know, women usually know when their sons are going through that stage, they usually, they usually smell like a foot. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> get him a nice cologne. <laughs> so even if he doesn't shower, at least he can like mask, can it? mask the funk. Yeah. It's really, I think it's really Sorry. cute. Uh, no problem. Citrus, vanilla, earthy, lavender. Woody, oh, you just spray it right like this. Yeah. Woody, yeah. aromatic, it's a sweet smell that a lot of women enjoy on a man. Oh, I like this. It's really nice, right? It's fresh. It's light. It's great for men that are just sporty. You can even put it on before you go to the gym. Yeah. It's so easy. This is an easy one. It's cute. It's a cute little gift. I might give five. It's it very sexy, musky for a man. So there was lavender in both the top and the middle notes. And then there's lemon zest, love coffee lavender. lemon. Smoke, earthy notes, apple, patchouli, vanilla, lavender, and vetiver. I, I love it. I think it's so cute. And um, I actually bought this for my boyfriend who <laughs> did not own not one fragrance. And I was just at Nordstrom and I was like, I need him to wear something. And I was just trying to like ease him in with this. And now I like jumped him into like these, all yeah. of these are now his. Like, I'm like, you're going to wear this and you're going to wear this. And I'll let you know. What days I'm yeah. gonna smell what? Because <laughs> you're doing it for me, right. not for you. No, he's doing it for himself though. He's starting to like appreciate yeah. it, and he's like, man. So, um, I had told him that I wanted to review his Paco, and he was like, okay. And then yesterday, um, I was like, hey, let me get that Paco because I'm gonna like, you know. And he was like, I have something to tell you, and I'm like, what? He's like, I don't know where it is. I think I lost it. I'm like, how do you lose a cologne? But he had been traveling. But I, you know, honestly, where I don't know. it? I don't know. We had to buy another one. He oh lost my God. it. He lost it. But I don't even think that he, I don't think he packed it with him on vacation. I feel like it's somewhere 
like under a sweater somewhere, yeah. you know, because I don't know. It'll turn up random. It's going to turn up somewhere, Wait, but. This reminds me of something. With the Paco? Yeah. But look how, like, this was literally like 110 bucks. Yeah. Exactly. It's such a good price, it's a good value. It's cute. Um, and I want people to stop hating on these designer brands because they actually do make really good Yeah, it's scents. really just like stop being a fucking snob. Because you're going to miss out on something that smells good. Just if it smells good, it smells or good. Or if Who designer is not, if you're into niche, then don't, don't go on the website and talk about a designer fragrance that's beneath you. If it's too beneath you, then talk about, you know, Creed and Maison. Don't yeah. come for Paco. Like, this is such a nice scent. Get a life. I'm going to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I need some masculine energy on me. Mm. I like it. Okay, I have one more. Oh, that's so good. Creed Tabarome. Oh, wow. Um, so. Does that say vanilla? No. Oh. Okay. Millisime. Oh, millisime. I don't. It says it on a lot of their. I know. I actually but Tabarome like, I is like the name. Their, uh, a lot of their men's fragrances are really good. Yeah. So this one has a similar thing to yours where when you first spray it, it just smells like a nice aftershave. It doesn't smell like anything too That one's special. cheaper too. Yeah, a it cheap, is. A ch cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. Cheaper. 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 Um, <laughs> but I was, so I was wearing this Prada to a photo shoot that I used to wear like years ago in Canada. And I had remembered it one day and I was like, oh my God, I need to buy that. Like I... Again, my brain just wanted to smell something, and they discontinued it. So I found it on eBay, and I was when I finally got it, I was so excited. I sprayed the shit out of myself and wore it to this shoot. And then my male model, Ash, kept walk, walking by me, and I was like, "Wait!" I really thought at first, like, "Damn, my perfume is really performing today. <laughs> like, it's really like out there." And I was like, "Wait a second, am I smelling you or me?" And he's like, "I don't know." And I'm like, "What are you wearing?" He's like, "I don't know. I don't know. It was something Creed." And I was like. Tell me right now. He ends up like texting me at 5.30 the next morning and I literally ordered it right there. And I even took screenshots of the scent profile of my Prada and this one and sent it to him. I'm like, see, so similar. Oh, they were similar. He probably didn't give a shit. He's like, it's what? a good scent. <laughs> I'm like all excited. Like He went he back to bed scent. like. <laughs> literally. <laughs> and um, obviously ordered it right away. It, it does have a, it, this is like, it's like the male version of my Prada, I guess. It's definitely more, it doesn't smell good right away. You really got to let it dry down. But all of the it's reviews I was reading, one woman said, um, it smells like it was made for a French movie star. And I was like... Oh, I like the way this opens. Yeah. And I was like, if I was a guy, I would probably buy it just for that Ooh, review. It good. And it gets better and better. And um, yeah. All right, Micah, you got another cologne it's coming like, your way. <laughs> it's got that leathery, <laughs> tobacco, powdery vibe. It's and really it's good. Really nice. This is definitely... All of the reviews were like, a man with class wears this. It's not like the typical, like, out there male fragrances that you smell. It is, it's a little different, but it's like, it is. It's just pure class. Do you think somebody bought that for Ash and that's why he was like, Oh, oh he got, no. he said he got some, for, like, Creed sent him some things or whatever. Really? Yeah. That, I'm pretty sure that's Ooh. what he said. So um, He's a lucky man. Yeah, because I don't know if he would have picked this out for himself yeah. for sure but he honestly does have really dope style and taste so he might have yeah creed we like fragrances you can send us anything yeah anytime any day. Any. <laughs> let's should we change it to our guys now? yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right <laughs> we heard the legs crossing towards each other so listen, I was at the bar one night, and when I tell you this bombshell walked in, and I was like, I got to get this girl home some way, somehow. So what happened? Bro, I didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> All she did was take a woof of what I had on, <laughs> and when I tell you, them panties dropped so fast, I couldn't even blink an eye. <laughs> you want to know what I was wearing? I'll tell you what I was I gotta, wearing. I got to know, bro. You got to know. And you got to get it if you want them panties to just come off before you even say anything. 
I'm sorry. Bro. Bro. Oh, that's the juice right there, huh? <sighs> when I tell you, she was on me. That's that lady juice. <laughs> that's, this. that's that lady juice that makes that lady juice. This, hey, she was wetter than a swimming pool. <laughs> Just put it on you. Just, just do it. You're gonna have to beat them bitches off with a bat. <laughs> Dude, when Feel I like a man, <laughs> oh, just like I them fuck chest myself. <laughs> man, when I tell you, I'm getting a heart. <laughs> I'm getting one just thinking about it. I'm getting fucking draw card, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit, what's in this fucking shit? So when shit? I tell you I tried to get rid of that bitch the next day, she wouldn't leave. I had to send her an Uber. Put she a wouldn't fucking even... spell on her, did you? <laughs> I put a... Man... That one two combo. Punch, punch. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. So, dude, if you got the money, just do it. It's a good investment. You will get all the pussy you ever asked for. Ever asked for. Seems like. Now, I can't guarantee investment. you what kind of pussy you're going to get because pussy might not be that great. But I tell you, if you have a, uh, if you can choose. Seems like a pretty good gamble. <laughs> Shit. Take two, three of them you know home. What they say you... about pussy, it's like pizza, you know? It's like if some of it's... <laughs> <laughs> Just don't it's eat the crust. Good. It's all good, Don't you eat know? the crust. Some of it's better than others, but it's all good. I'll you take might, what I can get, you know? You might get a little, you know... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you might get some pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't talk about <laughs> Wait, what did they put on, on a Caesar salad? Anchovies? <clears throat> you might get anchovies. Yeah. You don't want the anchovies. You might pussy. get a little anchovy. You might get some grade eight top choice filet. That's not in a pizza, though, bro. <laughs> Maybe not in yours, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat where you eat, all right? Clearly. You know. <laughs> all right, well. <laughs> I know all about pizza. I don't know about grade A. What's up with you? What 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 gets the ladies going with you? I I need to know because, man, I just want to have a selection. I just want to be able to pick and choose which one is gonna get me all the booty. I was looking at my selection, trying to think of which one I was gonna go for for what this guy would like. I, I like the BDK. Yeah, right. Me too. <clears throat> All right. Let Lenny put you on. All right, Lenny. Got some grease charnel. Right? Some grease charnel. Mm. Mm. That looks like a dark bottle Listen, right there. I heard this bitch describe it as what she wants her soulmate to smell like. Listen. So you got a trick you that can be. Bitch. Yep. Exactly. Easy. Need I say more? Shit. Say less. No. That's all you need to say. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Mm. Should have turned me on right now. Mm. Mm, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Man, where you find this? It's like that silent snake. It's like the one I got in my pants. <laughs> oh, shit. Sneaks up on you and bites you. Oh shit! You think when you're you least love. expected. I like this. You don't even gotta say hi to her. Spray a shit ton of this and just walk by. Put your glasses down low. Give her the stink eye. Turn around and walk away. Man, She'll be chasing after you, brother. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs>
On that note, on that note, would you drop your panties for these MFs? (laughs) (laughs) What to call us? We're such bad dudes. Yeah, we're the worst dudes. On that note, do I make you horny, baby? (laughs) (laughs) I'm very horny. My nipples are a little hard right now. Hey, that's loud. That's loud, brother. Yeah, no, it's okay. That's what I like. I like loud. I like crazy. And I love pussy. (laughs) (laughs) On that note. All kidding aside. I think these fragrances will be more than approved panty droppers. For the ladies. Or or boxer droppers. Yeah. (laughs) They're just really good quality smells that are just truly well blended. They have, I I think all of them actually give you like a comforting scent. They all smell like huggable. They're huggable fragrances. And that's what you want. As a man, like you want to be able, or even, you know, if if you're a woman that prefers these types of, you know, fragrances, you want a little bit more masculine scents. Like it's nice to have like the vanilla and, you know, one of them that I showed had lavender, but it's still like a very calming and soothing and warm. I'm just watching you talk with the facial hair and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's true though. They're honestly, they're all just really nice quality. Yeah. Like really well done, really beautiful fragrances. You can't go wrong with any of these. Yeah. So there you have it. That's our choice. I mean, we have great noses for all kinds of um, fragrances, but these were definitely a little bit more masculine, and I truly enjoyed them. And I want to sell. I want to smell them more. I actually wouldn't mind putting some of these on. Yeah, you know. All Agreed. right. Cool. cool. Peace. <laughs>